Organic fertilizer is fertilizer derived from natural materials such as plant residues, animal manure, or other organic waste that has undergone a decomposition or engineering process. This fertilizer serves to increase the organic matter and nutrient content of the soil, as well as improve its physical, chemical, and biological properties. You can create a good organic fertilizer mix by combining soil, coffee grounds, and coca peat. This mixture serves as a nutrient-rich growing medium or can be further composted. Function of each component. Soil. Provides basic structure, microorganisms, and essential minerals. Coffee grounds. A nitrogen-rich organic material that is excellent for leaf growth. Coffee grounds also help improve soil structure and slightly lower the pH, becoming more acidic, over time as they decompose. 1. Coca peat, coconut fiber powder. Helps aerate the soil, unclogs the soil, and has excellent water retention, keeping your growing medium moist. 1. How to make the mix. You don't need exact proportions, but a general guideline for a fertile potting mix is equal volume. General ratio. One part soil, one part coffee grounds. Used coffee grounds are preferred because they have a neutral pH, one part coca peat steps. Prepare the ingredients. Gather good garden soil, slightly dried coffee grounds, and pre-moistened coca peat. Soak the coca peat in water for a few hours and then drain it to prevent it from becoming too dry and difficult to absorb air later. Mix well. Mix the three ingredients in a large container or on a tarp using a shovel or your hands. Wear gardening gloves. Make sure all ingredients are thoroughly mixed. Use or compost. For planting. This mixture is ready to use to fill pots for non-acidic, acid-loving, plants or as a top dressing in your garden. For compost. If you want more mature nutrients, add this mixture to your compost bin or compost pile and let it sit for several weeks to months, stirring occasionally until all the ingredients have completely decomposed into nutrient-rich compost. 520 centimeters. Routing. Level the soil surface with a rake before planting. 2. As a protective layer. Mulch. Spread compost. Spread a thin layer of compost on the surface of the soil around existing plants. Add another mulch. To retain moisture and nutrients, cover the compost layer with mulch such as dry leaves or coconut fiber. Water. Water thoroughly after spreading the compost and covering it with mulch. How to make the mix. You don't need exact proportions, but a general guideline for a fertile potting mix is equal volume. General ratio. One part soil, one part coffee grounds. Used coffee grounds are preferred because they have a neutral pH, one part coca peat steps. Prepare the ingredients. Gather good garden soil, slightly dried coffee grounds, and pre-moistened coca peat. Soak the coca peat in water for a few hours and then drain it to prevent it from becoming too dry and difficult to absorb air later. Mix well. Mix the three ingredients in a large container or on a tarp using a shovel or your hands. Wear gardening gloves. Make sure all ingredients are thoroughly mixed. Ensure the compost is mature. Use compost that is mature and free from rotting or hot material to avoid damaging the plants. Use sparingly. Don't overapply compost, as excess nutrients can harm the plants. Water. Ensure the soil is moist to allow the compost to absorb easily. If the soil is dry, water it before spreading the compost. Papaya leaves can be used on plants as a natural botanical pesticide due to their content of substances such as papain, saponins, and bitter alkaloids, which repel pests such as caterpillars and aphids. Furthermore, papaya leaves can also be processed into organic fertilizer due to their nutrient content that is beneficial for the soil. As a botanical pesticide active ingredients, papaya leaves contain a bitter compound called papain, which acts as a contact poison for insects. Other compounds, such as flavonoids and the alkaloid carpane, are also effective in disrupting the nervous system of pests. How to make. Crush about 1 kilogram of papaya leaves. Add about 10 liters of water and stir until well combined. For increased effectiveness, you can add a little kerosene and liquid dish soap or other ingredients such as garlic, lemongrass, and soursop leaves. Let the solution sit for 24 hours. Strain the liquid using a fine cloth to remove the pulp. How to apply. Spray the solution evenly on the plants or pour it directly into the growing medium. Spray once a week or according to the level of pest infestation. Advantages. Environmentally friendly, 
does not produce harmful residues, does not harm natural enemies of pests, and reduces the risk of pest resistance. As an organic fertilizer nutritional content, papaya leaves contain important nutrients such as potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, and manganese. Processing. Papaya leaves can be made into liquid organic fertilizer, POC, by grinding and soaking them, or by fermentation. Application method. The resulting liquid fertilizer can be poured onto the soil or sprayed onto plants to fertilize the soil and provide nutrients. The main benefit of papaya leaves for plants is as a natural botanical pesticide that effectively controls various pests such as caterpillars, mealybugs, and termites, as well as a nutrient-rich liquid organic fertilizer. Compounds such as papain and alkaloids in papaya leaves disrupt the insect nervous system and inhibit bacterial growth, while the enzyme papain can break down proteins into amino acids that are beneficial to the soil. Benefits as a botanical pesticide repelling and killing pests. Papaya leaves contain bioactive compounds such as papain, alkaloids, flavonoids, and saponins, which are toxic to insects. Pests control. Effective against caterpillars, mealybugs, aphids, termites, and caterpillars. How it works. Papain. Acts as a contact poison that works when absorbed by insects through the skin or mouth. Flavonoids. Attack the insect's nervous system, thereby disrupting its movement. Carpane alkaloids. Inhibit the action of bacteria on pests. Saponins. Acts as an antimicrobial. Benefits as an organic fertilizer source of nutrients. Papaya leaves contain nutrients that can improve soil fertility when used as fertilizer. Formation of green manure. Can be processed into organic green manure by watering or spraying it on plants. Liquid organic fertilizer. Crushed or blended papaya leaves can be mixed into liquid organic fertilizer. Benefits of the papain enzyme. This enzyme helps break down proteins and fiber in compost or fertilizer into amino acids that are more easily absorbed by plants.